Good morning, family and friends. This is your girl, Charlene, back with another encouraging, inspiring video here to encourage you to live your best life with God. God loves you. God has a purpose for you. Yes, you watching this. He loves you. It ain't over. God gave you another day, another chance filled with mercy and grace. So thank the Lord for another day. Give him praise for another 24 hours because he didn't have to do it. Somebody didn't wake up. Somebody's not here today. But glory be to God, you're still here. Even though you messed up yesterday, God gave you new mercy and new grace. Another chance. So we're going to give him some praise today. I got a little word on my heart that I want to share with you. And I'm going to bring you a word from the scripture in Proverbs, Proverbs 18.21. And my message is about words have power. And I'm reading from Proverbs 18.21. The tongue has the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Did you hear what I said? The tongue has the power of life and death. And that's what I want to talk to you today about. The tongue, your words. What are you saying? What are you speaking? By merely speaking your words, you have the right to destroy somebody or you have the right to bless somebody. I remember growing up, we used to have a saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt. That's a lie. Yes, sticks and stones may break your bones, but you seem to get over and forget about that. But it's words that people have said to you, spoke over to you 20, 30 years ago, and they still holding you hostage. They're still playing over and over in your mind so don't tell me that words don't hurt but we have the power in our words to, to speak blessing or curses we have the power to lift someone up to encourage them to bring them out of depression just by our words words are very powerful and we have to be careful how we use our words words are a gift a blessing from god we are the only creatures that he made who has this gift the gift of communication the gift of spoken word and we have to use that gift um, we have to use it, what do I want to say, carefully. Because if you don't use your words carefully, you will tear somebody down. With your words, you could cause somebody to commit suicide. With your words, you could send somebody in depression. But you also have the power with your words to encourage somebody, to lift somebody up, to bless somebody. So what are you doing with your words? You got to be careful what you say to others, especially to your kids. You can't always say what's on your mind or what you want to say. You have to be careful because on the day of judgment, you will have to give an account of everything every word that came out of your mouth. Don't think you're getting away with anything by talking about people, by being negative, by hurting people with your words. You will stand an account 
for your word. So hopefully you speak in life. You're speaking blessings and not just over others, but over your life. You have to speak blessings into your life. You have to speak goodness into your life. You don't have time to go around complaining, mumbling, grumbling every day. You have to open up your mouth and praise the Lord. You got to open up your mouth in faith and tell God what you need, what you want. I tell my son all the time, if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. So that's what I'm telling you today. If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Keep your mouth shut. Let God handle it. All we should have time for is blessings, is praise. Do you know the words that come out of your mouth are the overflow from your heart? So a lot of times if you speak in mean, negative, nasty stuff, that's because what's in that's because that is what is in your heart. If you always speak in blessings, if you always encouraging somebody and being positive to somebody, that's what's in your heart. So we got to check our mouth. We got to check our tongue. The Bible says that we are able to tame all type of wild and restless animals, but yet we can't tame our tongue. Our tongue is a deadly, poisonous evil. And if you're not careful, you will put that poison onto other people. You will destroy their lives with your words. So now that you know the truth, open up your mouth and speak life. Open up your mouth and speak blessings over your life, over your children's life, over your family's life. You don't have time to be negative, complaining, mad, grumbling, all of that negative stuff. Open your mouth and put a blessing on it and see how the Lord will take those words and use it. When Jesus walked this earth, he a lot of times just spoke healing into the people. He spoke blessings into people's life. When God made this world, he spoke it into existence. He didn't touch nothing. He just spoke the word and it was there. He had Moses speak to the people. He had Moses speak to Pharaoh. So all throughout the Bible, all you hear all you read is people speaking goodness, speaking blessings. That's all Jesus did as he walked this earth. He never cursed. He never cussed. He always spoke blessings over people's life. He spoke healing. He spoke mercy. He spoke grace. He spoke forgiveness over people's life. And that's what we have to do. Speak more mercy, more grace, more love. It's enough negativity going on. It's enough negative stuff going on. Open your mouth and encourage somebody. Open up your mouth and speak blessings. And that's what I try to do with these videos is encourage somebody. Love on somebody. I know before I was saved, baby. Mm, mm, mm. And I still know how to do it. I can tear you down with this mouth and not even touch you. I know how evil my tongue can be. But I tell you, now that I found God and I love him, I try to lift people up with my words. I don't try to be negative. I just try to be positive as much as I can. And I stand by my word. If I ain't got nothing good to say, I'm just going to be quiet. So if y'all see me and I'm just quiet, 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 that's because I ain't got nothing good to say. So y'all... You better use your words wisely. You can use them for blessings or you can use them for curses. You can use them for life or for death. It's your choice. But God gave you a choice. So open up your mouth and speak something good over your life, over others' life. Words have power. God spoke this world into existence with words. It's a blessing that we are able to speak. By speaking something like, I love you, 
I care about you, you could turn somebody's day around. So, all right, y'all, got to get out of here, got to get to work. Y'all see them, be you see them beautiful bushes behind me? Yeah, it's springtime, y'all. It's beautiful out here, but I got to get to work. I hope this message blessed you about using your words. Words have power. So open up your mouth, bless somebody, compliment somebody. You know, we used to have no problem complimenting somebody, tell somebody their hair look good, their outfit look good. But nowadays, we don't compliment nobody. All we do is hate on people. Oh, she this, she that, he this, he that. Come on, y'all. We got to use our words to bless others. Do you know simply by words, is how war gets started by words or you can use your words and you can bless people so it's up to you how you use your words but when Jesus walked this earth he used his word to empower others so I gotta go I gotta get to work I love y'all God loves you do your best pray about the rest and if you ain't got nothing good to say just be quiet. All right, y'all like that? All right, once again, this is your girl, Charlene Sparks. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Instagram at one Charlene Sparks. But whatever you do, you have a blessed day. You use your words to bless, encourage, uplift, and praise the Lord. All right, y'all. Y'all make this your best day ever. God gave you another day, another chance. Let's get moving. Let's get busy. Use your words. Encourage somebody. Love on somebody. Speak life into them today. In Jesus' name and who name? In Jesus' name and who name? Jesus. All right, y'all. Enjoy y'all day. God loves you and has something special for you. Be blessed.